In patch 13, BSG added a lot of new things. New guns, new hideout stuff, the entirety of streets, Lightkeeper, and a revamped lighthouse. At this point of the wipe, most things have already been discovered and have been well fleshed out by streamers, but what I'm about to go into is still barely known by anyone in the Tarkov community except for a couple people besides myself. This is the story of the Mosin Man, the bridge speedrun world record holder, and the god of Sirachi. When the new patch hit, very few people understood how Zorachi worked, let alone how to even cross the minefield on the bridge. Some of the first few informational videos on how to take on Zorachi were also quite primitive in their beginning strategies, and inefficient in how each run would begin. But most importantly, the existing guides were only helpful for teams of players, which would involve far more coordination than a solo player. And one of the most viewed guides for solo players isn't really viable because of how Zorachi and the guards have their HP buffed. Also, another more recent well-made guide uses angles that are no longer viable because of the new AI update causing all AI to be far more aggressive and to spot players through small cracks and angles. This is my journey of becoming the first person in the world to kill Zorachi a hundred times, and how I've been able to give back to different content creators along the way. Wait, were you the guy that killed him, No Fear? Oh, I'm 100% down, but I'll see you in Lighthouse Lobby. The first step to figuring out Sirachi was to figure out how to even cross the mines. In offline mode, I started by turning off all AI and ran to the bridge to try and figure out a path across the bridge. But I figured, why not make this a speedrun? The initial rules were to touch the opposite side ASAP, without getting hit by a single mine since the mine machines to one-shot players are triggered, and I thought that I would die immediately if I were to get hit. The timer would start when I get in the corner near the entrance for a consistent start, and after many attempts, I finally managed to get across the bridge. With a time of 1 minute and 4 seconds, I knew that sub 1 would be possible. So many optimizations were still left to be discovered, and I was sure that the spool mine and the box mine could be improved. But the very next run, despite getting a great early pace, I didn't realize until I was almost at the end that my timer didn't start. Despite the setback, I felt determined to continue on since I was so close to getting sub 1, so I decided to run it back. But then, after half an hour of more attempts, I finally got this run.
With a new world record of 53.72, I felt amazing and wanted to know if I could take on the rush. I decided to take a bit of a break from speedrunning line attempts since running to the spot to begin took too much time. After taking a couple days to try to figure out how Zarachi and his guards worked, as well as what strategies would work best for taking them on, I ended up struggling with the mines a lot more than I thought I would, so I came back to more speedrunning attempts to get better at the mines and then try to get another world record. Some improvements were found quickly, such as being able to run past the bathroom mines, as well as being able to run into the car to trigger the mine on the other side, and to run next to the truck to trigger the mine under the wheel as a better line instead of running around the white box. A 5164. Things were getting closer and closer, and I knew that a sub 50 would eventually be possible as well. So I pushed forward, scanning insane paces and insane leaps, knowing all the while that despite holding the world record, I can continue to push this even further and further. So I decided it would be time for me to be more confident and to clean up my movement. Dozens of attempts and many hours poured into this to improve my time little by little in the hunt for a sub 50. Finally, after 50 attempts, a 44.50, this would later be re-timed to a 43.90. When I first began to speedrun the bridge, I never would have imagined that this would be possible in under a minute, let alone under 45 seconds. But as close as I was to sub 40, I decided it would be time to take a break. Just a couple days later, I would end up in a call with Gigo, an amazing artist in the Tarkov community, to discuss the possibility of a different route across the mines, which would involve a jump which could potentially save time from having to blow up the horizontal slab lines and from going prone and unprone for the box mine. Soon enough, after a little bit of testing, we found out that it was indeed possible. And now, the only thing left was to do it. This is so stupid, I want to follow up there, but technically that is all. <laughs> no way! And finally, the world record.
This is where the world record stands today. His insane world record skips over 10 seconds compared to the previous runs, thanks to the jump skip, and absolutely demolishes what I previously thought was possible. In the end, despite being the only person to really contest the bridge as a speedrunning category, I had a great time trying to figure out how to push the game to its limits, despite the clunky movement system, and as a result, get an insane world record along the way. Soon enough, the news started spreading. Hey, have you seen the guy that speedruns like, through the mines to get to Lighthouse? Yeah. That guy's fucking quick as hell. Dude, shit. That man is fast as fuck. Oh, boy, he's nuts. Actually wild. He's so fast. That's crazy. That man hauls ass. We all send for it. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Man has, the man has the speedrun shit on screen. Yeah, he has the timer on screen. The title's called 3213 New World Record. <laughs> so I'm going two out of one. Motherfucking no for the legend. Look at this. They don't snipe you. Like Sirachi? Yeah. Oh my god. Bro, when the servers are fixed, we should have this man take us there. Yeah, he, sh we, he should do a display for us. A display for us. We can snipe him. We can go and snipe that motherfucker. Sirachi and the boys, yeah. yeah. That guy's nuts. Eventually, I got the opportunity to help each of them out with getting Zorachi's unique Balaclava, as well as to check out his loot. And with each of them knowing that I was the world record holder for crossing the mines, the expectations for me to cross the mines were high. As each streamer got in a position to watch me run, I took a deep breath. I felt the hype. This was my chance to shine. For real this time. first approach started off pretty similar to the other guides in the community. I knew that there was one guard on the left, Zorachi in the middle, and one guard on the right, and that if Zorachi is alive, then a guard will respawn a total of three times. But since I was just doing this solo, I didn't have an angle to kill Zorachi first, and I didn't feel comfortable taking on the left guard first. So I'd have to kill the original right guard, and then the three respawn guards on the right for a total of four bodies on the right. Each of the guards would have 125 head HP, and Zorachi has 150 head HP. 
The initial strategy from the community was just to use a VPO with a silencer and Gexa. The original strategy relied on Gexa being able to deal 110 flush damage, so just two quick headshots should be enough to kill a guard. And with only 200 ammo available from Jaeger for reset, I didn't have too much ammo to waste. As it turns out, Gexa wasn't the way to go. The vast majority of my shots kept on getting eaten by the metal in front of me, or completely consumed by the white box, which I eventually called the box angle, since the angle for me to see the guard would result in the box eating the shot entirely, and my ammo would just be wasted. After over 8 hours of trying to get this to work, including with different angles, a chatter asked one important question. Have you tried Mosin? And this is when I realized that I was doing it all wrong. Back to the white. Bitch, don't do that again. Oh, I don't think I can even take it. Doing the fence. I can hear that you're doing the fence. Oh, I get rolled. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. You still alive? Okay, there you go. Good shit. Damn, that's hard to kill him. Okay, we got both mask. Like this. I'm just glad I have the mask. It looks so nice. Yeah.